What's Buddy got to do? What? Hey guys, I'm Anuj and welcome back to the Anything channel. So yesterday something happened. I screwed up my friend's laptop. Yeah, while installing OS Windows 10 on my friend's HP Pavilion 15, I screwed up pretty bad. What happened actually is uh, I after installing the OS, I went back to BIOS setting. I I resetted all the BIOS settings back to default. Yeah, that happens when you press that F9 key on the BIOS setting. So when I boot up my computer, the error occurred that is F30 something error and it won't show any OS on my hard drive. So it was something like this. And also there were no boot options available to reinstall the windows from USB. So now uh, if you have that error sometimes then I'll show you the solution which I found after some time of tinkering the BIOS settings and it is really easy. So let's go see the solution. Okay guys so this is the error that I'm talking about. Now whenever I boot my laptop it shows this error that please install an operating system on your hard disk and it shows that there are no boot devices found. And then when I go to the startup menu and press F9 to boot device options, it shows that there are no boot options available to reinstall the windows. Okay, so what we here have to do is uh, press F10 to BIOS setup options and it will take you to the BIOS setup and then in the system configurations, uh, go to the boot options, just hit enter on it and there will be boot options available to you. So what we have to do here is uh, move on to the secure boot and it shows that it is enabled so just go ahead and press the enter key and disable it yes you have to disable that options and as soon as you do that clear all secure boot keys option will be available to you okay now go to the go to that option and press enter key and they'll ask you for the passcode just write down the passcode and hit enter and then again go to the legacy support and enable it that's right uh, that's all you have to do and it's done so just uh, press F10 key to save the changes and exit from the BIOS settings menu okay so now your laptop will boot up and uh, there will be some random codes that will be appearing on your screen right now so don't get panic, it's all part of the process. So that's it guys, we're done. See here, the laptop is booting up just fine. Okay, so if you find this information useful and if you get your laptop fixed then don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe thank you